The 18th of January was the second best day of my life. I get home from work, greet my wife, everything's fine and normal. Then I get to the kitchen. I go to walk around the island when I see that the oven door is gaping open. Every rational reason I can think of makes no sense. It doesn't smell like Donna made anything, it doesn't smell like Donna burned anything. It, it's not hot. Approaching the oven, I notice there's a hamburger bun sitting on the rack. Not burned, not toasted, nothing. Now I'm scratching my head thinking, Donna, what are you doing? This definitely doesn't fall into the, the, the prank category. When I turn to yell for Donna, she's standing there smiling. So then I was like, what's this? And she says, you don't know? Why'd you put that there? Think about it, Derek. You're smart. I obviously wasn't getting it. So then I grab that arm thing, look at her, and I say, why would you put a bun in the... And then I got it. I was absolutely speechless. I, I probably got at her for a straight five minutes, just trying to process it all. I was going to be a dad. A few months later, we went to get an ultrasound done so we could choose a name for our baby. I will admit, I was disappointed when we were told it was a girl. I was looking forward to teaching a boy how to yell at the TV during a college football game. Donna was thrilled, though. Ecstatic. Immediately, she wanted to go buy all sorts of pink clothes and decorations for our unborn child. Don't get me wrong, I, I was excited, but... I mean, I was also scared. I mean, how are we going to pay for this new person? Do I make it up? I began picking up an extra an extra few hours at work. Anything to support my new family while I still have the time. <sighs> then the best day of my life came along. September 10th. My sweet baby girl is born. I never thought there was a baby more precious than mine. She was seven pounds, 11 ounces, and couldn't have been more healthy. Everything was so perfect. Her little hands, her little feet, her little, her little eyes and nose, her smile. She was gorgeous. When I first held her, I, I knew I could never let her go. I would never let anything or anyone hurt her. She was so special. She was mine. Donna and I decided on Caroline Rachel Eckhart. Sweet Caroline. Beautiful daughter. Nothing in the world could have been better. Two days later was the worst day of my life. Um, late the night my Caroline was born, we found that there had been some uh, some complications in the pregnancy. My, my wife's kidneys were failing. Both, not not just one. I had noticed she was extremely tired and, and her breathing was heavy, but I figured it had been both, both birth effects. The next day when she couldn't see straight, I knew the doctors were right. She would fall asleep holding dear Caroline because her head hurt too much when she was awake. September 12th. Donna never woke up. The machines loudly hummed her death while I held my wailing Caroline. I wanted the family to care for, to protect, 
to love. I, I still love Caroline, but I have no idea how to raise her. I would have known. She would have known what every crime at every every wail at two thirteen in the morning meant. Now I I don't know squat. There's only one thing I do know. I do how to put her to sleep. I hold her in my arms, rock her back and forth, and sing. Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. Works like a charm. She's asleep in minutes. You know the the best times of my life now are with Caroline. I don't see her much since I, I work a lot, but at night after the sitter leaves, I turn on those baby education shows and the holder in my lap and in eat my TV dinner because I have no idea how to cook. <sighs> Those are the best moments of my life. The times never seem so good. So good. So good. <sighs> so good. Oh, Donna. I wish you were here. I wish I was as good with kids as you were. <laughs> Caroline would have loved you. She did love you. You would have loved who she's becoming. She's starting to crawl and sometimes I, I can't keep up with her. What am I gonna do when she, start, she starts walking? <laughs> Someday you're gonna need her, or at least what, at least what she becomes. She can't be less than amazing, right? You weren't. What I would give for us all to be together again. Someday we will be. Some so far away day, we will all be together again. And on that day, good times will never have seemed so good. <laughs>